she was complaining that there's a lot of wind because this is too short. tell you how bad the weather is right now that it was snowing the last few days and it's once the snow stopped it started to rain so now the rain has melted all the snow so I'm not going to com be complaining about that I'll be uh, installing some cool things that I got for my uh, Goldwing I got a new windscreen a windshield when I was riding down to Daytona the windshield that I currently have when the bike when I bought the bike it was pretty much I think a taller windscreen that the guy actually cut the top off so now it falls exactly on my the line of sight exactly where I look it's like wherever I look at the road I it's like either the top of the windscreen cutting my view my field of view exactly so I need to either go like that or drop the drop the windshield really low um, as much as it goes and it's still on my way so I you know, when you're in a gold wing, you're, you're pretty much looking through the windshield. And I, since it's not an electrical windshield, so I opted to go with a taller windshield. So clear view shields actually were nice enough to send me their uh, model that goes from, I don't remember, my bike windshield. They have it on their website and I'm going to install it later. But before that, I'm going to actually install a Saddleman sofa seat. For the gold wing that I got from Saddleman. Let's do that because currently I have a seat that came stock, not stock with the bike, but when I bought the bike from the guy, he did a custom job on the bike. Let me show you. It looks a little bit old the way it is now, right now. It looks a little bit old. He put us uh, custom coverings on it, which is comfortable and nice and absorbs and wicks and absorbs the sweat, but it's somewhat uh, old, old looking. So let me show you what I got. This is the, what the bike currently looks like. Okay, uh, so I need to take care of that thing and install the new Saddleman seat. I just ripped the, the, the box open and put it over here. But let me take the bike out. Ah, there you go. I, sw I swapped the battery the other day. There you go. So that's, this is what it looks like right now, currently. Oldish. So this is the actual... The new Saddleman seat. Shout out to Saddleman Buster. Thank you so much. This is the sofa. It's going to go over here. And, then, and I'll take care of the backrest as well. And yeah, let's install it. First thing from my understanding is taking care of these four bolts. Right here. And then... This comes out, and the whole thing comes out. Didn't we say metric already on these bikes? There you go. You guys told me to use this, right? So I went ahead and bought this. Oh, it's my 12-volt. Shit. Stupid. My 12-volt. Not this guy. Other way, right? Where the f is the direction? There you go. Both are out. Oh yeah, by the way, the other day, I, with the, I installed a new battery. I also installed uh, a battery tender and a heated gear plug. Well, whoever gave me this suggestion, thank you. Now, from my understanding, this just comes off. <laughs> yeah, simple as that, huh? Simple as that, yeah, but I keep these. Whew. These go, I'll save it. Yeah, they had the uh, custom built. Put it here for now. And let's take our Salomon 
I think it's called a road sofa. And it's gonna fit right here. Should I clean the bike right now? Give me a second. Yeah, we need to get rid of this part too. This is the custom. This is, I think, the original, right? This looks like, oh, ta-da! Now this latch goes in. Ah, oh, shit, I need to take this off. Got it off. It's not, oh, nice. <laughs> Actually, it's nice. Obviously, I need to break it in. But this looks pretty nice. Yeah, I want to get the heated gear dongle out. Here it is. There it is. Here's the heated gear. Now, these, where's that part? This one goes here like that yep yeah, let's get the bolts okay let me tell you this is a bit of a struggle you see these bushings right there you have to get the stud of the handle through those bushings Careful, carefully and patiently. It took me like 10 minutes. Now it's in. And I'm going to take it to the bike. Okay, this is literally an hour later. Since it's a new seat, these holes are not... Because this foam, everything is still new. No, it didn't align with the four bolts and it's an exact fit. It literally took me an hour. It took me an hour. I just got one at a time. Started with this one, wiggled it around like unbelievable. Don't lose your patience. It's gonna happen. When it's new, they are not, not perfectly aligned. It's very difficult. Slowly does it, easy does it. Hey, you know what? This, this never got in. Oh shit, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Only this one. I have to find this one. You see what I mean? How difficult it was? Let me try to figure it out. Well, this part is completely done. Almost. I'll show you what. What do you guys say? Looks really, really comfortable. I obviously have to break it in. What a difference, huh? How it changed the bike. Why almost? I never was in, unable to get this one in. Will I uh, solve it somehow? Yeah, eventually. For now, it's being held only by this over here. And there's no uh, bolt over here. I'll figure it out. There you go. I even got my backrest installed. Pretty neat, right? Always fun to start it up. I love the sound of that flat six carbureted. <laughs> what do you guys say? It's badass, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go in and do the windshield tomorrow. It started to rain. It's the next day. Weather is, like you see, much better. Like I said yesterday, I'm not gonna complain about the weather. I'm just gonna enjoy what I have. Uh, took this panel off. Oh yeah, it's now the windshield's turn. Like I said yesterday, when I sit, and I'm exactly sitting over here, this line is exactly in my, in my eyesight, exactly on the road. So I got a taller windshield. And besides, when I took my wife the other day, she was complaining that there's a lot of wind because this is too short 
and this uh, the seat is raised so she pretty much it's raised purposely so the person in the back the pillion can actually see above your helmet and see the road and enjoy the road as well the problem is if the windshield is too short they're literally getting hit in the face so i need something much taller so my wife won't complain so took the these two panels off and this year model year it's it's two panels one and two and these are the four uh bolts that go in here both sides you actually need to move this rubber uh grommet covering so you can move this play around with this so you get access to these bolts now remove these four and install the new clear view shields windshield over here what did i get 28 inch i don't know i don't remember i'll i'll have a link down on the bottom so you can see what i actually installed and if you're interested just go ahead to clear view shields oh yeah and i do have a discount code with them it's also going to be on the bottom I guess I'm supposed to keep these. These will actually go on the next, on the other windshield. These uh, oval bushings. <laughs> what do you say? You see how it's two inches, like two, three inches taller on the top? Just like that. Do you see the top? Got two, three inches over here. It's two, three inches. Yep. There you go. Nice. Oh, forgot to tell you. I also got a vent. Well, over here, I did not have a vent. Because I did realize when I was going, when I was traveling, uh, doing the, the iron butt, and it was warm down in Daytona, down south, that I actually needed, I needed some uh, air, I needed some wind coming in over here. So I opted in to get this, the, this model with the vented. Okay, I got them in. Didn't quite figure out if they need to be here, there, whatever, up or down. But I put it all the way up, as high as I can. And there it's gonna stay, now I'll put the panels back on. Okay, playing around with these grommets and rubber parts. This is all on. Now I just need to find where I kept that vent of mine. Clear view shields. Their little logo over here. Let's find that. That's very nice, actually. Let me find that vent. Found it where I thought it would be. This I got from eBay or Amazon. The clear view shields also has them on their website, but at the time they were out of stock, so I just went ahead and bought this. I got it in clear. You can get it in. Colored black trim, and it goes here, that way. I'll figure it out in a second. There's instructions, but who reads instructions, right? That way. One week later, yeah, I had a problem when I was installing. Apparently I ordered, at the time when I ordered from Clearview Shields, they did not have this, this uh, inlet, so I had to order, order it online. online. Apparently it was the wrong one, so had to order again, Amazon. This time I got it, installed it, 
and it looks good. So that's it. Let's see what it all looks like. The taller windscreen, I'll sit on it and show you very soon. It's taller. I'm probably going to be looking through this position, like lower by two, three inches over here. It's, and the road is not going to be blocking me. The seat came out really cool, really nice. Obviously, I need to break it in. Let me get on the bike. Okay, now I'm putting the phone exactly, exactly where my eyes are. And see, when I look down at the road right there, I'm looking through this part of the windshield, windscreen before. Right here, that's exactly where the lip was. So my eyesight was always, my eyesight was always, like this is how it was before. Exactly where I was looking, it was in my way. Now I, I literally put the phone over my head. Now this is where my eyes are. You can see the same line as my eyes. I'm looking for here, so much better. And I'll have nice uh, air flowing at me during uh, during summer, during the warm weather. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. GL1500, I'm going to be riding it a little bit more. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. So the next video, guys. Peace out.